Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker. Hope everyone is doing well here today. Boy, am I excited to go and bring you guys this video because the last time that I went and made a settings video was all the way back in March. And since then, there has been a couple changes here and there, whether or not it's been for loot settings or just the basic general settings or even like my HUD layout. I have changed a couple things, so that video is kind of outdated. And today, I'm bringing you guys this updated settings video. So if you guys are new, be sure to go and sub. If you like the video, give it a like as well as I feel like I should mention that these are my personal settings when it comes to like my HUD layout those settings might not work the best for you but when we do kind of talk about like the basic settings and sensitivity settings more universal type of stuff then I'll kind of give you advice on what you should go and do but I guess kind of without further ado we might as well go and jump right into it so let's go and begin here with my main HUD layout for the BR and all these settings are going to be for the BR here not really on the multiplayer side of things, but there really hasn't been any significant changes with my HUD. I believe I made my minimap a little bit bigger here just so that I could go and see where certain targets are on the map a lot clearer and be able to go and pinpoint exactly where people are going to go and be, as well as like, I, I guess kind of the same thing, my prone button or my slide button uh, right underneath the minimap there as well with my jump button. All these things are kind of the same, like my firing button, my reload button, same exact placement. When it comes to my uh, joystick there, it is really important to go and have this little runner guy all the way down uh, just to go and make sure that you, when you want to go and auto sprint, that you can hit it as easily as you possibly can. So that's why I've had it all the way down. I think even in my previous settings video, I had that all the way down there, but I just want to make sure for anyone going in, checking over my settings for the first time, why I have certain things in the position that they're in. Now, when it comes to two significant changes, I would have to go and say that is both the snowboard uh, which I have in the top left hand corner. I try to go and implement snowboards a lot more in my gameplay, even though you don't really go and see me in snowboards very often. I do try my best to, uh, when I have a snowboard in my inventory, to go and kind of prioritize that a lot more. So that's why I make that kind of more known on the screen here, as well as with the grenades update. That is taking up kind of a central location there. Usually my webcam would go and be covering that, but for the gameplay, I kind of like it being a little bit shown just so my view viewers go and know exactly what grenade that I have and what I'm going to be using. So with the grenades being a lot more powerful, I believe with the start of the season three update, that's why I've kind of made it a lot more well known here. But now we go into just, I guess, my general basic settings here for the BR. Everything is kind of standard auto loot, really important to go and have enabled the auto open doors. I would hope that everyone has that enabled there. And here, let me actually, well, no, I, I can remove the webcam for right now. All these are very 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 important to me especially when we go into the right row the third one from the bottom the release are fire button of shotgun to hip fire that was a change that i went and did last season which was significant like it this went and changed my shotgun gameplay 110 percent like it made me a lot better of a shotgun player and i just hope that in the future that maybe that there could be a setting like this but for snipers to go and make me a little bit better with uh with snipers there but that definitely helps from like a thumbs player uh perspective right there these are just going to be more additional settings for anyone that might have one and wondered of what I go and have. I don't have gyroscope enabled. That's kind of just like a personal preference type of thing. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Kyle actually uses gyroscope as well as COD Narco. Maybe I could be wrong. So I don't know. Maybe I should go and try that out for the future here. Just going and experimenting around with gyroscope, seeing if someone like myself would go and like it. But at least for right now, I don't have it enabled. My camera FOV, I don't remember if that was a thing last season, but I have that pretty much all the way maxed out here 75 fov there as well as when it comes to the vest of visibility it is really important to go and make sure that you at least know what the enemy has like you can probably either go either way from others visible to all visible i just make sure to have others visible just so that you guys are able to go and see
see the character skin that I'm rocking out with, but don't have it be on all invisible because if you go and have it that way, you won't be able to go and tell whether or not the enemy that you're going up against has like a level two vest or a level three vest or even any vest at all. So at least go and make it be on others visible. Now, if we go into the audio and graphics section, now what I have enabled for right now, I would not go and recommend that. Like it is always, if, if you want to make sure that you have the best performance in game, you want your graphic quality to be all the way down on low with a max frame rate. Now, obviously I know a lot of people watching this video might be like, but Parker, my device doesn't even allow me to go and have a max frame rate, but at least being able to go and play on a low graphic settings, uh, for me with the max frame rate, that just makes sure that the quality of my gameplay itself is the best that it could possibly go and be. The main reason why I have been going and playing on very high with max frame rate just has been almost from like my YouTube perspective here. I want to make sure that when you guys are watching my gameplay that it is kind of in the best quality possible. And yes, don't get me wrong, after like two hours of going and playing on very high graphic quality as well as a maxed out frame rate, you do start to experience experience some lag spikes here and there in the gameplay uh, that is just caused from my device going and overheating but nonetheless I kind of go and take that as a thing that's just like you know I'm a youtuber I have to go and do that but what I would go and recommend for you guys is just always playing on low graphic settings just so that you're able to go and get like the best performance possible as well as having a max frame rate right there so I also have a couple things enabled depth of field bloom real-time shadows uh, just kind of more like graphic related stuff as well as for the br mode graphic style i have that on dynamic because i feel like it just also makes the uh, map a lot more beautiful like the colors actually go and pop out a lot more which i'm a big fan of so that would be a thing that i would even go and recommend now going over to my sensitivity settings for the br everything kind of standard once again uh, fixed speed i know that the sensitivity switch it is really important to go and have it on gradually switch while adsing there uh the camera sensitivity to you guys if you want to go and copy it for yourself you are more than welcome to go and do so but then again uh just kind of understand that these are my personal settings they work out the best for me um don't really use that many of like the six times scopes or eight times tactical scopes or four times or either three times so um as well as yeah the gyroscope that's all just kind of random weird stuff right there but most importantly br settings here this is exactly what i go and have this is once again kind of like a more personal preference type of thing uh tank control i have this b on uh, and this is kind of weird because you would think that i would go and be on layout a uh, but just layout B works the best for me when it comes to tanks. The vehicle camera always on follow because I like making sure that I know exactly where I'm driving into. Vehicle HP going and enabling that just so that you know the health of your vehicle. Uh, the automatic obstacle avoidance. I'm not a big fan of this because I feel like sometimes it can go and mess with your driving here a little bit. Like you, you meant to go and drive a certain way, but then it automatically went and avoided like an obstacle. I'm, I'm personally not a big fan of that but you guys can i guess kind of do whatever you like and then the tank guide line i had that completely disabled there now one of the main things that i'm kind of excited about that i went and did in terms of changes from the last video has actually been a lot of my loot settings here so if we go into my loot settings the hemos first aids adrenaline armor plates have been kind of uh, optimized the best way that they could possibly go and be when it comes to the hemos for example i went and enabled 10 and i just went and made that be the case because hemos you don't really use that many of them or at least for me for my gameplay and 10 is the max that you can go and select if you only want it to go and take up one slot same with the first aid same with the adrenaline same with the armor plates there for all the fives there so that's why i kind of have each and every single one of those on five when it comes to the lethals and tacticals i feel like this is one of the bigger things that a lot of people go and mess up on especially if you feel like you're one of those players that constantly has to go and take items out of your backpack you might have to go and tweak a couple things here so grenades most amount that you can go and hold on to for one slot is three same as the nova gas same as the cluster grenade but those are really the only grenades that i go and use i don't really use many of the flashbang or smoke grenades grenades that don't really do damage to the enemy rather than just going in like stunning them or just like having other type of purpose rather than damage i usually like only holding on to the grenades or 
lethals that actually go and do something. And then going all the way down to the bottom, the optics, I'm only a big fan of red dot sights, not holographics or tacticals or three or four time scopes. I only like the red dot sights. They just kind of work the best for me. But then again, that could also be more or less like a personal preference type of thing. But ladies and gentlemen, I believe that's going to be pretty much it here. If you guys went and enjoyed today's video, be sure to go and give it a like. If you are new, be sure to sub. My name is Parker. Have an awesome rest of your day here today. And I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video.